So here we are, about 24 hours after making our inmate brew, our adapted inmate brew, I should say. This is with the 100% grape juice, uh, just over a cup of sugar, and using champagne yeast instead of the bread yeast that I had used in the other two. But look at it go. Cool. Oh, the chunk, the bigger chunks you're seeing in there could possibly be part of the... Um, the grape juice that we added, the boiled raisins, uh, some of that sediment did get into the uh, the bottle. I didn't think it'd be too big of a deal, though. And I don't know if you can hear it, but these things are fizzing away. All three of them now are actually bubbling away. We'll cut over to another one so you can see how they're going. Okay, this one's a little bit darker and a little bit harder to see, but this was the uh, the cranberry juice. Uh, it was actually only 27% real juice, so I was worried that it wasn't going to do much at all, but now it is going away. This is actually about 48 hours after I started it. Um, it used the same recipe with the boiled raisin juice, uh, a cup of sugar, but with this one I used bread yeast um, to make it a little bit more traditionally inmate style. I don't know if you can see it there, but... It's bubbling away too. And now we'll cut over to the apple cider. Is the apple cider inmate brew going? Same recipe as the cranberry. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this one at all actually because the juice is so light. You can actually, you can really barely see it with your eyes using this light here. But I don't know if you can see, but there's all the bubbles like right there at the top of the brew. Pretty cool. So there the three are, bubbling away. And uh, earlier I had mentioned about the condoms being completely inflated, so check those out. And they're all quite, quite bouncy. So, inmate brewing at its best. We'll be doing probably a, a taste test to see how these all turn out. And I'll let you know. Okay, cheers guys.